Welcome back to yet another exciting, damn exciting episode of DAF, Dumb Apple Farmer Talks. Today we're talking Gold Rush. So we know we're at the end of the season when we're into Gold Rush, probably the last major variety that we pick. And certainly has long been my favorite apple. Uh, this was Co-op 38, so this is yet another scab immune variety developed by Purdue Rutger in Illinois. Um, and has a very interesting parentage again that same malus flora floribunda uh the the crab apple the native american crab apple that imparts disease resistance scab immunity to these varieties uh rome beauty another sort of commercial variety that seemed to have some disease resistance and is a big part of the parentage of a lot of these disease resistant varieties this one has a lot of golden delicious in it as well as you can kind of see from the the look of the thing the surprising one is that it's got wine sap as a parent. So wine sap was a great long keeper. Anybody who knows squat about American apples will recognize wine sap as being just a truly great eating, long keeping apple. So Gold Rush, uh, these are not quite there yet. You can see the background color is, is kind of greenish. When we're looking at apples for ripeness, we're always paying attention not to what the front of the apple looks like, but the side not facing the sun what we call the background color. And you can see that's still pretty bright green. Uh, it's starting to go a little bit whitish. So once you, once you go from a bright green to it goes then to a kind of a white, whitish green, and then it starts to fade towards yellow. That's when you know when you're fading towards yellow that you're getting into ripe territory. When this apple gets fully ripe, it will develop not just this nice uh, reddish blush, but a real bronze aspect. It's a real bronze looking apple. Um, so what's great about Gold Rush? Well, there's not much that isn't, to be quite honest with you. This thing, as my dad used to say, eats good. You know, this thing will crunch your teeth off, man. It's hard apple. And it stays hard, not for one month, not for two months, but it, here in Iowa, we can pick this thing in late October, early November, and eat them in May and they're still crunchy. Well, you break your damn teeth on this thing. Like most winter apples, they are gonna change with time. They're gonna get sweeter and less acidic over time in storage. But the unique thing about Gold Rush is it stays really crunchy in storage. All you gotta do is keep it from dehydrating, keep it from puckering up, you know, uh, using a little moisturizer and um, this is a great winter keeping apple but that's not all that's good about it this apple makes great pies uh, it as well is one of the very few dessert apples that has any appreciable amount of tannins in it so the skin of this thing has tannins that are conferred into uh, hard cider you make decent sweet cider with it too but you got to be a little careful not to put too much in but on the hard cider front, we really like it for hard cider. It presses well for one thing, stores well as I said, but the flavor of it is quite nice and we've developed some pretty interesting single varietal and mixed varietal ciders with this apple Gold Rush. Mm -hmm. 